check one, two. I work in a creative industry. I am a videographer by trade, and I have slowly created the space to be my home base of operations. I work in this space. I've been making short form content around tech, and I wanted to give a little more detail into some of the gear in this room. I've seen a ton of these videos and I love watching them. It's what inspired me to make this space what it is. So I hope this video inspires someone else as they invest in their office, in their home setup. But let's get into it. When you walk into the room, you'll notice the two big windows on each side. Having windows in the space was huge for me. I was pumped when we moved into this space. And that's why I put the desk right in between the two windows. Now the desk itself is massive. It is from Effie Desk. They sent me this piece to make some content around it and I'm super grateful for that. But honestly, this desk is so worth it. It is not cheap, but it is not cheaply made either. This is a 70 inch piece of walnut. This is real wood, super heavy and the legs are super heavy too, which makes it very sturdy. I love the look of this wood. I feel like it elevates the space and makes it feel a little more classy. And the main reason I wanted it is because it's a standing desk. Even at the max height, I find it doesn't wobble because the legs are so solid. It has a cable management rack underneath, which keeps it somewhat tidy, although I'm not super picky about cable management, but it keeps it clean. The next thing you notice when you walk in is probably the PC on top of the desk. I just built this PC recently and it was a super fun experience. Here's a super quick list of specs on the screen. Got the 13 gen i7, RTX 4070 Ti, 32 gigs DDR5 RAM. I got three terabytes so far of SSD storage in there. And it's all housed in this beautiful Fractal North case. I love this case because you can get the gamer RGB aesthetic through the glass panel if you want it but the wood on the front keeps it feeling classy because I do primarily use this for work. If you wanna see more of the build, I have some short form content on that. As for peripherals on the desk, I like to keep it pretty simple. I have the Logitech MX Keys Mini and to go with that, the Logitech MX Master 3S. I like this combo, although I will say it's not the best for gaming, but for productivity, I'm a big fan. And those are sitting on this Satechi desk pad. It's just a fake leather desk pad. I'm looking to get a bigger one soon. I get roasted a lot on my monitor choice, probably because of the thick bezels and it's only 60 Hertz, which obviously is not ideal for gaming. But for work, it's really great. This is a monitor that was made for graphic designers. It's an old Ben Q monitor. They don't even make this model anymore, but I love the color accuracy on this monitor and the fact it's 4K. I used to rock two monitors. In the past, I've even had three, but I find I'm sometimes less productive when I have more windows open. So I'm playing with the idea of one monitor for now. I do think the next play though is to try out an ultra wide monitor. I think that might be the perfect mix. Let me know if you know of one that has good color accuracy and a high refresh rate. That's what I'm looking for. On either side of the monitor, I have these small speakers and I love these things. These are the Kanto YU2 speakers. They also sent me these to make some content around and I'm super impressed with them because they're smaller than I expected them to be, but they have a surprisingly good and loud sound. Now, a lot of gaming setups don't include speakers, but I think for productivity, they're really useful. Sometimes you don't wanna wear headphones all day, but you wanna have music playing in the background. When I'm editing a video, it's nice to have the option to have good quality speakers to edit from. So these were a must addition for me. Now the mic and the mic arm that are attached to my desk are from a brand called Feefine. They sent them out for a review as well. Let me switch to that mic so you can see how it sounds. This is what the Feefine Tank 3 sounds like. I've been nothing but impressed with this mic for the price. I'll say the same about the boom arm. It looks really sleek and the build quality is actually very impressive. Also, I love that they have a white option. Moving to the corner of the room, I have the classic Alexa drawers. It's nice to have some normal office storage for things like files and extra batteries and camera gear. But most of my camera gear lives on this wall shelf right here. My wife and I actually put this together ourselves. We just cut a massive plank of wood, sanded it down, stained it, and painted these brackets that we found at a thrift store. The reason I like to have it out, like most other people, is because I use it way more. I used to keep my camera gear in bags and cases and I would never want to use it unless I had to. And now it's easy to just pick up my camera, throw it on a tripod, grab my drone, it's all right there for me. Now going along with that, I also have the Ikea pegboard right next to it. This usually keeps my headphones, extra batteries, my AirPods, things that I use almost daily. Now to light my office, I actually use a video light. This is the Amaran 60XS and I keep it on this white stand because it's a little more discreet against the white walls than a black stand. I love this light because it's bi-color so I can keep it warm in the evenings if I want to, but during the days I match the daylight 
and I find it just gives a soft glow to the whole room. Although it's not the cheapest light, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you need it for videos as well. The opposite wall to my desk is mainly a backdrop for video calls and some extra storage. So these two pieces on the wall are in a style called Bauhaus. I love what this type of design is all about. It's based on a German architecture and design school from the 20s that basically existed to find the balance between design and practicality or form and function. And that's been a huge theme in my life as a creative, but someone who loves productivity and routine, I'm trying to live in the balance between the two. Below that, this is a shelf from Ikea and it's just some extra storage for the room. We live in a two bedroom apartment, so we take storage wherever we can get it. And this book, if you wanna get inspired creatively, pick it up. Underneath the shelf, I keep some extra stands and lighting for video shoots. Now, other than a few fake and real plants around the room, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about more of this gear or you wanna know where to find them, let me know in the comments. I hope this has inspired someone else as they're creating their space to create in.